Good morning guys, Uber Jack here with another video today and uh, we're out early. Um, not as early as I was saying yesterday. Uh, I like to lie in a bit too much I think, but uh, it's uh, 10 to 8 and we're out. So um, on the way to an 8 pound job now. Um, hopefully it's going to be a busy day. Let's do this. Alright guys, two jobs in. It's uh, 20 to 9, nearly quarter to 9. Um, both 8 pound-ish jobs are about 16 quid. Mileage is 13 miles. Um, last customer I had there, we were, uh, there was a lady, she was probably in her 50s or something like that. She was um, asking some questions, like talking about Uber and um, how long have I been doing it. And, you know, she's saying it's much safer. And I was talking a bit about like hackneys and that. And uh, she, she said to me that she was um, attacked in a hackney carriage uh, taxi about 20 years ago um, told me quite in detail what happened it was it sounded horrific um, and just got me thinking you know like people got a lot to say about Uber you know a lot of naysayers a lot of uh, people wanting to say this that and the other but and, and you know I know things like this happen in Ubers as well don't get me wrong but I, I'm pretty sure it's far, far less than it used to be. Um, and, you know, these drivers, they want to, they want to, you know, moan and complain that the, the competition has come their way. They want a monopoly on everything. You can't have a monopoly on anything, I'm afraid. But they did this to themselves. You know, they did this to themselves. If something's going bad, um, and, and it's not just you know assaults and stuff like that I don't think I've met a single person from the era pre uber when you get taxis uh, whether it private hire or um, hackneys that wasn't ripped off like I've never met a single person they say oh no I used to always get good fares no nope. and then you hear a story like that you know vulnerable women um, she was telling me about the police at the time said they had four or five um, incidents of rape, you know, within within a month of that attack, and it was a really bad time. And uh, anyway, just got to think. I just keep. I was just thinking to myself, you know, Uber is good. Um, as I say, it does happen. Don't get me wrong. I know there's been cases, but they're far, far less, and it's far, 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 far more of a, of a deterrent for. Um, a driver that is legit they don't have all their documents there are they are who they said they are they've given all their information to uber it's much more of a deterrent to try to to do uh, to get up to anything that you shouldn't be because uh uber has got all your details the council got all your details uh but it just makes me sick you know and i think to myself you guys did this to yourselves you 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 did the, all these things you know even just even just ripping people off which i say i think is was rife um, this is why something like Uber come along, competition, and cleared up a lot of things. That's how. That's why that woman is able to get back in a taxi because she knows how safe this is compared to that, and that's the final, final, that's the final point. But um, anyway, it was quite uh, quite hard to listen to, to be honest with you, because uh, I know myself. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine doing anything close to that. It's it's sickening. It's sickening. Okay, lads, just. Uh, Done another job, a couple of jobs, around 30 quid, 31 quid in, um, what's this, half past nine now, so hour and 20, pretty good. Logged out, I need petrol, um, got 70 miles left range, um, and it was no jobs coming through, so it seemed a good time. I'm also going to nip into the main Tesco shop to see if I can get um, a better mount for the old phone, so I don't have to do these um portrait angles on the camera which i know are really annoying um don't look good on the video so i can just basically have it normal portrait when i'm using it and then just flip it and um because i can't really flip this without like taking it off the mount basically look at this cant where's he going some guy trying to fucking beat me to the old uh pumps Anyway, so uh, let's see. I'll uh, see what I grab in a minute. Did get the petrol. See what I grab and uh, see what it looks like. Hey guys, we got the fuel. Uh, we got the uh, 
the uh, universal car holder this one hopefully will do the trick um, I get to get a longer cable because the one I got now barely reaches on the air vent and this this looks pretty cool Lynx Africa one for the old school in car 30 day fresh air freshener see what that's like and a little meal deal so uh, let's get this set up and see what it looks like all right all set up this is uh, just what I wanted actually so this will be the view that you see from uh, from from me when I'm uh, doing the vlog from now onwards. No more portrait, just landscape. Um, and obviously, once I finish recording, I can just easily turn it back um, to portrait for you know work purposes. Like ever since I started, um, when I first started doing um, Uber or taxiing, um, I was renting this car. And the guy had this air vent. I'll show you now. This one just uh, goes in the air vent and um, it just works so well and this is the same one this is the actual same one so I never really um, wanted to get one of these because um, I thought well this does the job it's out it's out the way it's over by on the air vent um, but you know when it comes to doing what I'm doing with the YouTube stuff and the, the filming it needs to be landscape obviously and it was just a pain so I'd have to take it off turn it round off the vent um record like this and you know just a pain for, for when i'm driving you guys know i've like sort of put it in the middle here of the the dash and you can see the the the, the steering wheel i know you can see a little bit there but it's not too bad um but anyway yeah so this is uh hopefully an improvement and um one you guys appreciate so uh yeah let's get back to it this cable's amazing by the way this juice cable Someone's ringing me. Hang on, gotta stop. So that was my, uh, that was the um, accident management company that's handling the claim for me with the um, the rental and stuff. And they were just saying that they they haven't got the garage hasn't had the authorization to start the repairs yet on the Mondeo. But they were gonna chase them up again on Friday. Um, just delays all sorts of things. But I'm glad, obviously, because I get to drive this for the time being. Um, but yeah, I did wanted to mention that um, I had an email the other day uh, off the insurers, not the third part, not the accident management company, saying that the other person's insurance company had admitted liability in full, which I'm really, really happy about. I just spoke to him about it. He wasn't aware, so I sent him an email that I had confirming it, um, which is excellent for me because it means I get all my uninsured losses back, which is obviously the main one is, um, you know, time off work. I had like 21 days off work, so that's coming back. Um, and I won't have to pay my excess as well so that's really good um, and the company that rent me this car will get their money back for it too so all good I uh, knew it was a non-fault accident don't know if you guys seen the seen the footage but it was most definitely non-fault <laughs> she was trying to say I drove into a door but no damage to the front of my car so how have I done that lovely impossible anyway I'm uh, going to crack on with the day now and see if we can get some more jobs. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, have you guys ever, have you guys been noticing this? Look at the car in front and look at the... Um, I know the camera's not um, straight. I need to readjust the old uh, mount again because I moved it a bit and it's not good. Anyway, I'll sort that out. But have you noticed... Uh, keep an eye out. You'll see a lot of cars um, looking like this guy's car at the back. Not just because he's white. All different colours. And you can barely make the number plate out on that. I've seen cars and I can't see the number plate. This seems to be, to me, since the fuel changed. Honestly, I feel, I feel like the fuel changing, whatever they did to the fuel when they changed it, um, you know, a few months back, whenever it was, it seems to be pumping out loads of shit and getting stuck to the back of cars. You, you guys have a look and see how many cars you'll see, like the one in front here, that you know in a couple of days you won't, won't be able to see that guy's number plate and I've actually seen cars where I am where I can't read the number plate at all and uh, obviously that's illegal um, but it just seems like like from here I can't read that guy's number plate now I have to get close to it so it probably doesn't pick up on a camera or anything um, but I, I, I do feel like it's something to do with the old um, the petrol because this is a recent thing. Um, I'm not saying you never got dirty cars before, but they seem to be everywhere. And the rest of his car is not super clean, but it's not like, 
you know, it's not obvious that he's gone through like mud or something. It's all at the back as if his exhaust has been pumping that out. Um, let me know what you guys think, just an observation. Okay guys, that should be a straighter angle. Um, time now is uh, just coming up to 12. Um, just been doing a, a few errands to pick the uh, pick my dad up, um, take him home, drop my son because it's an inside day over my mum so they can uh, have him for a couple of hours. Um, and it's been a bit quiet so I'm tempted to go. I want to go basically um, if you remember earlier in the week, I said we got a, a boxing event, Sky Sports boxing event on Saturday. Chris Eubank Jr. and Liam Williams. Um, and I am into boxing quite a lot, actually. Um, so I'm thinking about today there's um, an open workout for uh, the public to go free in like a shopping centre in town. Because um, it's so quiet, I'm thinking about going there. It'll kind of mess the day up in terms of how much we're going to make. But, you know, we've got a good weekend to come. Um, I can still do a bit of work afterwards. So uh, I'm tempted. I'm just going to have a little drive around now. If I don't get anything, then I'm going to go and park up. And I'll, I'll obviously do some filming for it as well for um, the channel part of, as part of the daily vlog. So um, we will uh, see if we get some jobs. We're going to just carry on. But... Um, Seems a little bit quiet. The weather's dry. Uh, midday could be a good time to go. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Uh, it's uh, quarter to two now. Just been doing some errands. Um, not gonna manage to get to the boxing open workout. I had a few things that I forgot I'd have to do, so I haven't really been doing much work either. We're on about we're on about fifty pounds. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna fly back to my house now and then um so we did get we did get jobs coming through after uh, my last clip but then i had to do a, a few errands and uh I'm gonna fly back to my house now and then uh back out um uh, till about five so we might have about three hours <coughs> three hours uh left of work and whatever i make that'll be it so hopefully uh, i wanna but yeah i'm a bit gutted about not going to the uh the open workout boxing thing that I was telling you about there's still a chance I might go to the weigh in on Friday because that's um, open to the public and uh, free as well so might do that uh, we'll have to see but then again it is Friday and the thing is I'm definitely going to want to watch the boxing um, so I might just give myself time off Saturday uh, night to just work daytime that'll probably be what I end up doing uh, instead of sort of taking time off today because I would have been there till about probably six and Yeah, it's just uh, it just didn't work out. It almost happened, but had a few other more uh, More more personal matters to get to take care of but um, anyway, I'll update you guys in a little bit once we're uh, back out working and uh, Keep you updated with the mileage and all that kind of stuff Okay, guys, it's uh, coming up to half past three uh, we're on about 74 quid not too shabby and um, on the way to another one now it's only like a four or five pound job so um, not going too bad a little bit gutted about not going to the boxing now but um, couldn't really go actually um, but yeah just gonna uh, crack on till five probably another hour and a half uh, pick my lad up from uh, my mum's and uh, call it a day on whatever we end on. So if we get to 100, it'll be really good, but it'll have to be a super busy hour, to, to be fair. So uh, we're a bit short, we're a bit short. I'm not that bothered. Um, the week's going well anyway. So yeah, let's see what, see what happens next. Okay, fellas. Uh, <clears throat> it is uh, 20 to nine. 20 to nine? Fuck me, I'm on about 20 to, f <laughs> 20 to five. <laughs> Definitely not 20 to 9. Um, and yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, so we made 98 quid in six hours, just over six hours uh, on the app. Uh, we did 98 miles in total today. That was, um, you know, not all work related, largely, large portions of that. Let me just change this angle of this camera, it's a bit better. 
90, uh, large portion of that mileage was um, personal use, but uh, still not bad, not bad. So, um, so yeah, Wednesday we're doing all right for the week so far. Um, can't remember what we're on, like 380 or something like that. So not bad after three days. Um, we will try and obviously have a big weekend. Um, tomorrow will just be a normal day, um, school run day. Same with Friday. And then Saturday will just be a lot of um, morning and afternoon work. Definitely having the night off, the evening, evening off, night off. And then we'll see how we're, we're looking for Sunday, whether we uh, have it off again or whether we actually work this week. Um, a lot of it, a lot of it often with me depends on the weather. If it's like hammering down Sunday, I just won't be able to resist almost because I know it'll be, uh, you know, really good, like maybe thirty pound an hour. Um, so we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. But um, that's going to wrap the video up there, guys. We're just driving through Landaff Village in uh, the north of Cardiff. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, we're just going to get the boy from the mothers, take him home, have something to eat, chill. And uh, we go at it again tomorrow. So uh, thank you guys again for all your uh, comments and um support with the videos i really appreciate it and uh i will catch you all tomorrow